Alright, so in this video, I'll show you the 12 tips to boost FPS on a low-end PC. So if you find this video helpful in any way, I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and even subscribe for more content like this. I hope these tips help as much as they did for me. Now let's get right into it. Let's begin by addressing services. To find them easily and simply, type services into the search bar and click on the first application. From there, we'll scroll through to identify some unnecessary services to disable, such as Bluetooth service support. To do this, right-click on it, select properties, and then change the startup type from the default manual. To disable, click apply and then OK. Another service to disable is the connected device platform service. Follow the same steps. Right-click, choose Properties, switch the service type to Disabled, and click Apply and then OK. Similarly, disable the connected user experiences and telemetry entry, downloaded Maps Manager, Windows Inside Service, and Windows Mobile Hotspot Service. Apply the changes for each and click OK. Now let's prioritize Fortnite for optimal performance. While the game is running, if you press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape, it will open Task Manager. Within Task Manager, navigate to the Processes tab and search for Fortnite. Once you find it, right-click on it and select Go to Details. This will highlight the top process. Right-click on it and again navigate to Set Priority. Change the priority from the default normal to high. You'll be prompted to confirm this change in priority. After confirming, you'll notice that when you revisit the set priority is high, indicating that the game has been given a higher priority within Windows, which should result in improved performance. Moving on to visual setting. In the search bar, type adjust the appearance and you'll find the relevant setting. Within the visual effects options, you'll see that by default, Windows is set to choose what's best for the computer. However, we want to customize this for optimal performance. Select Adjust for Best Performance, which will uncheck all settings. Among these settings, there are five that are essentials. Animations in the taskbar. Save taskbar thumbnail previews. Show thumbnails instead of icons. Show window contents while dragging. And smooth edges of screen fonts. Ensure these five settings are checked. Then click Apply and OK to confirm the changes. Next, let's address system notifications. In the settings menu, Navigate to the System section. Scroll down to find Notification in Actions. In the first tab, deselect Allow Notification to Play Sounds. Show notifications on the lock screen and show reminders. Similarly, in the Additional Settings sections, at the bottom, ensure that all three options are unchecked. These adjustments will prevent Windows from displaying notifications that could potentially cause FPS stutters. Moving on to Optimizing for Lower End Systems. In the video settings, ensure that full screen mode is selected rather than Windows full screen or windowed. These latter options can introduce heavy input delay and FPS drops. Additionally, consider using a stretch resolution such as 1280 by 1080 or 1024 by 768, as this can provide approximately 40% extra FPS. Not only does this boost performance, but it also enlarges player models potentially improving aim. Adjusting your Fortnite config file to reflect your desired resolution is a straightforward process. For further assistance, tutorials link in the description can provide additional guidance. Now let's address the performance power plan. In the search bar, type power plan and select edit power plan. Click on change advanced power setting by default. The balanced power plan is typically active. However, to optimize performance, switch to the High Performance Plan, which is specifically designed to boost system performance. Ensure to apply the settings and click OK to confirm. Moving on to Rendering Mode. Within the video settings, avoid using the Rec X12 or the Rec X11. Instead, opt for Performance Mode, which reduces graphical fidelity but significantly boosts FPS. Pair this with lower meshes for even better performance. Additionally, in the Fortnite install options, remember to uncheck high resolution textures and the Rack X12 shaders, saving approximately 18GB of storage. Next, regarding the game bar, navigate to the gaming section in settings and disable it. 
Under Captures, uncheck All Settings and consider enabling Game Mode, which optimizes your PC for gaming by disabling background processes. In the Graphic Settings, consider disabling Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling and Set-in, especially in low-end PCs, as it may not offer significant performance improvements. Further optimizations can be done in the Game Settings. Under Extra Game Options, disable NVIDIA Highlights and Peripheral Light. In the Replay section, uncheck option related to recording replays. Consider changing sound quality to low for potential performance gains. Updating GPU driver is crucial for optimal performance. Search for advanced display to access display information and download the latest drivers for your GPU brand. Cleaning temporary files can also help. Press Windows key plus R, type in command like temp prefetch and percent sign temp percent sign and delete the files. Verify game files in the Epic Games Launcher under the Fortnite library to ensure all files are up to date. These steps should help boost FPS on low-end PCs. If this guide was helpful, consider liking and subscribing to the channel and explore other helpful videos. Thanks for watching.